Hello everybody, this is Jeff Janess, and here we're going to discuss a problem that you sometimes encounter in ArcGIS Pro when you don't have a vertical unit set. It's not obvious how to set that vertical unit, but it's also not hard, so I'm going to show you how to do it. So here's a picture of the problem. It says that uh, there's an input data set doesn't have a vertical unit, and then it's got this little exclamation mark that makes me worried about it. So I'm sure this pops up in lots of places in ArcGIS Pro. I usually encounter it when I'm calculating some topographic derivative of a DEM like slope or curvature. My DEMs are usually just rasters full of elevation values. There's no built-in definitions of whether the elevation units are meters or feet. And now the tools I usually use give us a way to specify the units in the tool itself, so you don't always have to worry about this problem. But for those of you who'd like to solve the issue permanently with your DEM, you can fix the problem with the define projection tool. I'm going to demonstrate that. Now, there's also another problem with these types of elevation data, though. And that's There's also no information about what the elevation values are being measured from. Do they mean elevation above a geoid, meaning elevation above mean sea level? And if they do, well, there's lots of geoid models out there, so which geoid are they measuring from? Or are they measured above the mathematical ellipsoid that comes with the raster coordinate system? Now, both of these issues can be solved if ArcGIS knows the vertical coordinate system. So what is a vertical coordinate system? Well, we deal with horizontal coordinate systems all the time in GIS. Those are essentially what projected and geographic coordinate systems are. But spatial data exist vertically in space too, and so there's multiple vertical coordinate systems available, just as there are lots of horizontal coordinate systems available. Now let's open up the Define Projection tool and see where to set it. Notice when I select the data set to use, the tool tells me it already has a coordinate system. And that's fine. This is only telling us the horizontal coordinate system. We need to open up the coordinate systems window by clicking on this little globe icon. And here we can see that this data set has no Z coordinate system set. We click on this window to see the options. All right, so which vertical coordinate system should you pick? Well, first consider how important it is that you get it right, if it's important at all. If all you're really interested in is topographic descriptors like slope or aspect, you know, curvature, solar insulation, these things only really need to know how high a raster cell is relative to its neighbors. Uh, as long as you have the vertical units right, meaning that you're, you got a coordinate system that uses either meters or feet, depending on your data, well, then that relative elevation difference between cells is not going to change regardless of what vertical system you pick. So if a cell is five meters higher than its neighbor using the North American vertical data of 1988, then it's still going to be five meters higher if measured from the National Geodetic Vertical Data of 1929. Yeah. In this case, you simply pick an unknown vertical coordinate system that is in the correct units. So we have three unknowns, and one's in survey feet, international feet, and meters. So you can just pick those if, if, if you don't really have to have the exact correct one. Now, if your data are from the United States USGS National Map, then the vertical units are probably either going to be North American Vertical Datum of 1988 or the National Geodetic Vertical Datum of 29. You can find these in the gravity-related systems. Come down here to North America. And down near the bottom, yeah, these, these are the ones that the USGS usually uses here. So you can use that if you'd like. Now, once you've got the vertical coordinate system set, and I'm just going to use unknown meters, hit OK, run that tool. And then when I open up some tool that needs those units, pull this data set in then no longer does it ask me for the vertical unit. This whole section disappeared. This one back here, this doesn't have the unit, vertical unit set. If I pull that in, it needs to know it. If I bring in this one where I've set the value, that disappears. All right, that's all there is to it. Thanks so much, everybody. Take care.